I'm Krista Warheide, the Interpretive Center Director at the International Wolf Center. The mission of the International Wolf Center is to educate the world about wolves, and we want to provide scientific-based education, but also to talk about the importance of wildlands and the need for those for a lot of animals in various ecosystems, as well as the human role in the future of wolves and other animals. We have a really large interactive exhibit called Discover Wolves, where you're, you can learn about wolf research, you can learn about how wolves travel, life in a pack. It also has a lot of cultural information, the history of wolves, and the social dynamic as well. We do have a smaller space um, called Little Wolf that is for some of our younger visitors. So we have wolf fur and different skulls and legs and things to look at. They can interact with and play. They can crawl through a wolf den and pretend to be a wolf. And we have other exhibits throughout the facility as well as a gift shop where you can buy all of these sweatshirts and t-shirts and all the amazing wolf things that you'd like to put in your home. Our ambassador pack is kind of the heart of how we start educating. It creates that link and that connection for people and wolves are one of those really iconic creatures that really spark a lot of emotion and it's a lot of different emotions. And not everyone who comes here likes wolves and that's fantastic, then let's talk about it. And our wolves are actually acquired through an adoption process. We get usually two uh, every few years to change our pack and add to our pack. We have an amazing staff. Um, we are all super passionate about science, super passionate about wolves. We also have programs that are offered with our education staff. You can learn about the biology and ecology of wolves, learn about the ambassador wolves that we have here at the center. A couple of our most popular programs include our What's for Dinner program. And What's for Dinner is typically a roadkill deer that is fed to our wolves on Saturday nights at seven. So for people who register and come, you get to have a program about the hunting and feeding behavior of wolves before those our wolves are fed their main weekly meal. In the summer, we also have really cool field trips that are called howling safaris. And so we learn about wolf communication before we go out into the Superior National Forest to actually howl for wild wolves and hope that we get a response. We have a lot of programs called learning adventures and those learning adventures are for adults but they're also for families and also just for kids. We have a couple of two-day camps in the summer that are for junior wolf biologists. Kids can come for a couple of days to learn a lot of things about wolves, but we also have programs that are geared for families like Wolf Family Rendezvous, and you can spend the night in our auditorium, wake up to the howling of wolves and see how active they get in the evenings and early in the mornings. And we also have other programs that are geared for adults. We can bring our program to people in the local area uh, and have someone go in person, but we can also do that online. And we offer webinars usually every month and really cool program called WolfLink. It's free to all schools and we can use our webcam so we can watch our live wolves and teach students all over the world about wolves. We hope that you're able to come visit us. And if you aren't able to visit us in person, we hope you can join us online and continue learning about wolves with us.